Morning. How's it going, Edinburgh Napier TV? A lot of people ask me on a day-to-day -day basis what I do as student president. So today, Edinburgh Napier TV are going to follow me around and see exactly what I do. So the time is 7.30 and the first stop is off to Virgin Active Gym to do a bit of working out. Although I like to say I go to the gym, I usually go to the swimming pool, jacuzzi and steam room. So Virgin Active, let's go. So the time is just after 7.45. I'm at Virgin Active. Talking about Virgin Active, I've actually had a meeting last week with Virgin Active officials about uh, getting cheaper membership for Edinburgh Napier students. And it's looking like it's going pretty well and I'll have more information coming up soon about membership for Napier students, all Napier students, from next year. So I'm just going to go in the gym now and do a bit of work now. Escalator, stairs, I think I'll take the escalator. So I've been in the gym just about an hour. I wanted to actually just go in the swimming pool and pretend that I actually just came to the gym every morning but I actually left my swimming trunks at home, so well swimming shorts. So I actually had to go for a workout, which is a nightmare. So the time is about 8.50, so I better run, get myself to the NSA at Merkiston. Here we are, home of the NSA. It is a Wednesday, so usually it's quite busy in the NSA on a Wednesday. Most of our sports teams play, so we actually moved to uh, Merkiston campus in December. So if you're looking for the NSA in December, find us at Merkiston. I better go do some work now. Check my office out. It's ridiculously messy. That's one of my things that I'm pretty crap at, is keeping it quite messy. Come in, come in. What we've got today, a bottle of champagne, that's for the, the best player on the women's football team. We'll see us managing the women's team later on. One of the things that when I ran for president, I wanted to do was make sure that you guys always knew what we, what we were doing. This is, for example, why Edinburgh Napier TV exists now. Yesterday I had a campus user group at Site Hill. You might have seen my post on Facebook about the different issues that I brought to them and some of the outcomes, but obviously not, every, not all of you have me on Facebook, so I'm going to send an all student email out, which, you'll, which you all get, and it'll tell you all the different things about the Site Hill campus user group. Team Napier. And then for pretty much a standard lunch, what I do most days, I'm not going to lie, is buy a Greg's. Can't be a Greg's sausage roll. Mm. Now it's just before quarter past 12, and now it's time to go manage the Napier women's football team to their first victory of the season. So I'll see you there. to arrive. I'm the manager of the Napier women's football team. It's our biggest match of the season today. We're all at home to Queen Margaret. They're bottom, we're second bottom. It's a relegation six-pointer, so come on Napier! Three points in the bag, needed to win, must win game. Uh, Queen Margaret all right, but we've got players like Zoe, so get in Napier. Couple of celebratory pipes down, meeting at Cadbury Voltaire, about a super sub tonight. So you've got a magic night out. Magic, hate it. It's a magician. Uh, we're off the cat ball now. <laughs> off the cat ball for Super Sub. We'll see you there. I'm sure it's got a queue. Biggest way to hide the city. It's a magic game. Oh. See you Super Sub Wednesdays. Only need your name. It's magical. Check this out.
Hello and welcome to Napier's first Come Dine With Me. My name's Tiger Strode and I will be narrating this wonderful adventure. Hey guys, just been doing my shopping. Um, all ready for tonight. We'll see. Come on in. This is our first contestant and he is Elliot Bibby. Italian food. Top class Italian food. Seems legit. Here we have the pizza passion. Dos. Lovingly handmade in a factory. The ice cream. Ice cream surprise. My name is uh, Elliot Fizzy and I study a sports technology at Edinburgh. Tonight I cook for you a lovely bruschetta to start with. And uh, therefore they make us have uh, a pizza passion. Passion from my heart for the pizza. And for dessert, we have an ice cream surprise. Oh, that, that's the surprise I'm going to tell you. You have a five pound note. I'll put my hands up my sleeve so you don't have any sleeve. Take the five pound note and fold it up. Cut my fingers. The five pound note changes into ten pound note. Yeah, I can turn a five pound note into a bottle of red wine. It's a crazy! I actually got an A for hospitality uh, in my six year at high school, so I also got the, the prize out of the whole year, uh, the hospitality prize at Brace High School. So shout out to my home economics teacher, Mrs. Hewitt. Hope you're watching this. And see what I've become a lovely, marvellous, intelligent chef. It's all done to you, thank you very much. So um, today, I'm going to try and slip that in as many times as I can and see if you can count it to go along. Aye, slip it in. Just the tip. We are now starting uh, the bruschetta. So for the bruschetta, we have lovely fresh tomatoes. Mm. Fresh tomatoes. Let's just hope the cooking's as good as the juggling and better than the accent. We're going to chop up into small pieces. These have already been pre-washed. I'm cooking Italian tonight in honor of my great uncle Giuseppe. He was a wonderful man, so I'm doing it in his honor tonight. Uncle Giuseppe would be a proud. This is his real hair from when he died. The weather is nothing compared to what it is in, in Italy. Lovely weather, sunshine. I'd be cooking this outside on the patio. But instead, I have been sent here to study at Edinburgh Napier University, where it always rains. Yeah. You might have seen me from the, the Bibby Magic show. And that's actually me, the magician. Um, I hope you all like that, and I'll be back in the next episode. I won't be cooking, but there might be a, a food surprise in there. Um, also, if you'd like to see any suggestions of, any suggestions of magic tricks um, that you'd like to see me perform, then let me know. And no, I can't put your phone in a bottle, and I can't walk on the tent. Anything else? Oh, I must ask you a question. I'll shave it for you. Oh, we're moist in anticipation. Here we have the spicy box. Let's have a look at the tents, see what spices we can have. Good boy. I'm allergic to bad jokes too. Don't seem to have any salt, so um, we'll just leave it like that. So then we have our chopped tomatoes with pepper for the bruschetta starter. Um, and it's probably to the fridge. Show you the bread. We've gone for the easy option here. Any two for two pounds, so we've got uh, now you're 18 slices of garlic bread, so it's safe to cut up the bread and then bargain it and rubbing it with garlic and butter. It's easy 
quick step. So when they get arrived, this will always be in the oven, um, cooking, and then we'll take it out. Um, we'll place the chopped tomatoes with pepper uh, on the top and, uh, and garnish, and that'll be the bruschetta starter. Here we've just laid in the garlic bread um, for the bruschetta. I'm just going to keep that there. Um, so it looks as if it's not just come out of a packet and um, I'm just going to talk my way through this whole thing as if I've actually prepared this and cooked it and see if they actually pick up on that or not. So it should be interesting. Uh, I've got some garlic bread in here for the, the crew in the moment and the cast as, um, as they're getting a bit peckish, so am I. Um, so uh, the guests should be here quite soon on my magic new watch. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what I don't know is if any of the, the guests have any food allergies or, um, or vegetarians or anything like that, so that should be interesting. Oh, it will be. Mind. And good luck on them not detecting your shop ball food. That must be our first guest. Let's go and see. Hello. It's JJ. We'll let him in. Hi, Hi man. man. Nice to meet you, JJ. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Cheers. Our tonight's first guest is JJ, Hospitality and Tourism Management. He's a first year. <laughs> Sweet. Fresh's Fine Dining. So starters, Bibi's Bruschetta, this amazing pizza passion. Bruschetta, dear. Ice cream surprise. I, I wasn't sure, like, I wanted to come and come dine with me, and then, like, all my housemates were like, oh man, you should do it, because they're like, got, like, Cooking sessions happening like every so often, and, like everyone gets in really good. And I'm like a chef. Last night it was a uh, uh, pizza, homemade pizza, so from dough, um, and then made pizzas. It was a bit of, like a restaurant in my kitchen. Science. Wait, you just got three plates. Three large plates, five, this plate. Okay. Oh, it's Mustache. You're the only one. A real Italian job, as we see. Elliot getting to the bottom of things. Italian music. Italian drink. Italian food, Italian atmosphere, it doesn't get much better than this. What do you call drinking? Um, it's only like from the beginning, like I used to work in a restaurant and we had to take, no, actually I was in the pub and I had a few mates and then they said, can we call you Jay? Because they used to say my name is Jay here, so it's Jay. And then from Jay, we used to work in a restaurant, you have to say your name, so it became JJ. Um, well, that's my like problem. I am alarmed. Here we go. This is what it is. Give the card to shuffle. And see if they're all dead for them. Do you want to give my shuffle? Yeah, I'll give it a shuffle. I'll try it. A comedian and a magician, Napier TV. Only the best for you. I'm going to give it a shuffle. So they're all muddled up. There's no way I can get any of the cards. Okay. And you can pick any card you want. Don't let me add food, shit. Anyone you want. And you have a look at the picture of the camera. Oh, we're good. You've remembered it, yeah? Yeah. And can you shout stop from here wherever you want? Stop. A little bit faster for when it's guys. Ready? Here we go. I'm only messing around. Anywhere you want. Stop. And you put the curve back on top. That's it. So you're going to pick any cards you want to, you just place it into the middle. Yeah. And when you going to get your cards to go from the middle to the top without anyone noticing. Watch close. So here we go. Did you see that? Your card jumped straight to the top. There's three diamonds, yeah? yeah. Three diamonds. Wasn't three. Nah. Uh, can you put your hand up for it? If we take the three, we'll leave it to be on top. We'll take the next card. The five? Nah. Wasn't the five? Nah. We'll take the five and I tap the three. Can you turn the three over and have a look? Yeah, it was that. your card <laughs> before we It gets crazy if you pop it up. Yeah. But yeah, four cards on the top. Yeah. You can take about half the cards. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll take the four and I'll slot it to the middle. Okay. Now you need to keep your eye on the four to stretch yeah. up to the top. Can you push the four into the middle to push it? Oh, no. No. Oh, 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 Tonight's second guest is Paul Hamilton, studying interactive media and design. And tonight's third guest is Laura Moraska, a third year nursing student. Hi there. It's bruschetta. I don't know what it sounds like bruschetta. Um, pizza. I can't really eat that. Passion. Um, not sure what it is, but it sounds interesting. And ice cream surprise. <laughs> it sounds like ice cream, <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be nice. Yes. Bobby's bruschetta. Bobby bruschetta. Uh, hmm. What Italian places <laughs> have you been eating at? Um, pizza. Like pizza. Pizza's good. Happily single, I'm sure. Day. Love Life Problems with Auntie Tiger is another <laughs> show. Just the flat bits, it's fine. And there you have it. Elliot starter of garlic bruschetta with peppered tomatoes. I'm left-handed, but I do everything in the opposite way. It's crazy. Yeah, it's true. No. Oh, that's clear as mud. It's the nurse's wing. So, um, first course was nice. Um, simple, but tasty. It was nice. It was um, filling. Well, they're too filling, actually, so... Well, hopefully I've got enough room for the rest of it now. <laughs> The bruschetta was nice, <laughs> it was a bit peppery, um, and there was a bit too much garlic bread, but um, all in all, it was quite nice. Into the lair of the beast they go. Oh, this is uh, the, the, bed, the wardrobe bedroom. <laughs> That's nice. I can't believe that, actually. It's a wardrobe for a bed. <laughs> One word, <laughs> Narnia. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good to see a man with priorities. Is that, is that, is that, <laughs> Who needs books? Don't, yeah, don't need books for clothes or anything. There's loads. I don't want to collect. Right. Let's find out. Don't point that at me. <laughs> someone's house, it doesn't work, so I smacked it. I mean, Napier's sharpest mind will come down with me. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's mad. Oh my gosh! Jesus! Oh, that's mad. 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 We call them mirrors. That's for when he does his makeup in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> That is very nice. It's like a guy's room and then a makeup bag. <laughs> <laughs> and hair straighteners. Hair straighteners. Guess what they do, JJ. Long hair can see because of that. Popcorn. Update popcorn. Classic. Cinnamon. 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 C
I've got another called Giuseppe, who's actually from Italy, who actually generally Italy. Yeah? Yeah. He's from Naples. Oh, I got that. And I'm literally. Another episode of Napier's Come Dine With Me. Well, meningitis and sepsina are both dangerous conditions that can kill in hours. Meningitis is inflammation of the lining of the brain, and sepsina is also known as blood poisoning. The same bacteria can cause both conditions, and around about 200 people a year in Scotland are infected. Why are students more at risk? The most common cause of meningitis and sepsemia in the UK is spread by coughing, sneezing and kissing, as students live together in close proximity, which facilitates the spread of the bacteria, and possibly also because of risk factors like smoking. Both students who register with a GP close to their new accommodation, 
uh, but we would also recommend students take up vaccines like MENC and MMR. Okay, I started at the University of Leeds in September 2007, um, so I was 18, and the first semester I was a proper fresher, went out all the time and met loads of new friends and stuff. Um, everybody was suffering from freshers' flu. If you didn't get freshers' flu, then you were very, very lucky. Um, so I had a bad cold, but didn't think very much of it. Um, and then I went to bed, and in the middle of the night, was violently sick and I can remember being very, very cold and shaking a lot. And then in the morning I had to drag myself out of bed because I had an important lecture to get to that I didn't dare miss. And luckily unlocked my bedroom door and made it out into the hallway and the lights were really blinding me. Um, and I stumbled into the kitchen and a few of my flatmates were in there and I was passing in and out of consciousness at this moment. Um, so they decided then that they'd have to call an ambulance. Um, so then I got taken to A&E. A junior doctor came by and saw the start of a rash on my arm and so said to one of the doctors, we need to get her in straight away. I had complete organ failure. They put me on life support. Um, the doctor said to my parents that there was nothing really more that they could do for me. Um, but I managed to make it through that first night. And my kidneys had completely failed and they weren't working still. So I got moved to a kidney ward. There was a lot of damage to my legs at this point. So they said that the damage to my left leg was so extensive that I'd have to lose it. And I was absolutely devastated because I danced my whole life. Um, and I didn't know anything about prosthetic legs at that time, so. It was very hard. I didn't think that I'd be able to walk again. I think the whole experience was, oh wow, is a test of character. Um, I think I was very determined anyway. And I think that was part of me getting up and walking so soon afterwards. And even surviving, the doctor said to me, when I went back, he said, you survived because you wanted to. We did as much as we could and there was something in you that made you survive. In the heart of Edinburgh, next to the Royal Mail, in Grass Market, is what all Edinburgh and Napier students are waiting for, Napier Union Bar. Here I have a meeting with Tom Zanelli, Napier Students President, who will speak about how Napier Union Bar was established. Well, when I first started as Edinburgh Napier President, there was no Union Bar, the bar had been closed by the previous executive. And I always thought as a student, that it was the main thing that we needed to have when you have, after you've had your classes, you need somewhere to go and hang out, somewhere to be social, have cheap drinks, have cheap food. And I thought, is it just me that thinks this? So I went out and asked the students, and we had a one thing campaign where we asked one thing we thought was good about the university, one thing you thought was bad, and half of you said the one thing that you disliked, the main thing you disliked about the university was not having a union bar. So we set up a petition with 3,000 names, in, in 24 hours we had 1,000 names already signed up and by the end of two weeks we had 3,000 students signed up looking for a student union bar. So I went to our new sponsors who our student recommended and said can we turn what was Maggie's chamber and book three sisters into our union bar. And voila! And now after three or four weeks of it being opened, it's one of the busiest and best student unions in, the, in Scotland if not the UK. Cheapest drinks, cheapest food. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. We've got pool tables, ping pong tables, foosball tables, an N64, Sega Mega Drive. Oh, we love the UK bar!
Simmons and this is Dinah Smith. And we're your hosts for this year's Napier's Got Talent. Hello. Hi everyone, here we are on the first day of auditions. Let's hope Napier has talent. Hi, I'm Robert. Okay, well welcome Robert. Um, what's your talent and why are you here with us today? I'm a singer slash ukulele player. And really, I just want to get myself out there, you know, I just want people to hear my music and appreciate it. Not many people know about the ukulele, so I just want to get out there, yeah. Okay, well, Robert, uh, the best of luck. Thanks. So... to show people what the ukulele means and how to play it. I don't think you've quite learned how to do that. So quite frankly I was unimpressed and I'm sure Jack will be too. It's, it's a shame Robert because I do like you um, but unfortunately the talent just isn't there so it, it's a no from me. Um, if you'd like to just leave the stage. Alright then, thanks for the opportunity anyway. Right, next up. Right, get out, we're not all the way to the point. Take your scuba. Next up, if you'd like to say your name and what your talent is. Hey, I'm MC Rodriguez and uh, I'm dancing for you today. Okay, Rodriguez, the best of luck when you're ready. I do wish in the world, don't ask me, I'll never tell. I look to you as it fell, and now you're in my way. I strain my soul for a Why not let it rip and live a little bit? 
Fabulu Events presents a night in support of Meningitis Research Foundation as we replicate the smells, the sights and the sounds of Moulin Rouge and the Three Sisters. A night of violin, acrobats, dancers and performers, all for you to enjoy. Tickets available now at meningitis.org. ran for uh, my post for career development opportunity, to be completely honest. Um, I have ambitions to go in a career field that's much like the work I will be doing this year with you guys. So I thought this would be a good first stepping stone for that and I hope that you get the best out of it from my experience of working with you. Hello. Hello.
Thank you.